Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. The big game is this weekend, and three things we all need. Beer, football, and friends. Get it, BFFs? Yes! <laughs> so, of course, my best friend, beer educator, and owner of the Atlanta Beer Boutique is here, Jen Price. We are ready to see who is it going to be this weekend. The 49ers or the Chiefs, but we know beer is consistent. Always. So let's talk about what we have here today. All right, so I brought some interesting stuff here today. Okay. The first one is a mead, so mm -hmm. it's not a beer at all. And this is good for your gluten-free friends. Ah. So mead is made from honey mm. instead of grain. Mm -hmm. And this one uses ruby red. This is a rosé mead. Rosé, baby. It's <laughs> too sad. And so okay. it has hibiscus. <laughs> wow. Hibiscus, um, ruby red, yeah. and it's a nice fruity alternative oh, yeah. to beer. So if you're not a beer drinker, if you have friends who like wine. Oh, I would like this. I thought so too. She would like it's this. It's really light, refreshing. It goes okay. well with salad, mm -hmm. uh, shrimp, um, really light food. And we have, um, and I actually used it to make dressing. Oh, for you, this. oh you infused yeah, it? Yeah, I infused it. You infused it? I did. It. Okay. I did. Uh -oh. That's going to be a little difficult it with is. those tiny forks. You it's know just what? for show. It's for show. Really cute. You're right. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> All right. You want to go into the second one? Let's now? do that. All right. Mm -hmm. So the second one is also a different style. Um, it's a Berliner Weiss, mm. which is a sour tart ale. And in the old world, they made this beer, um, they made a sour ale, and then they just um, added fruit juice to it. Okay. But today, brewers are brewing them with fruit in them. So they use a ton of raspberries, strawberries. Mm. Um, there's some vanilla in this one. It looks very similar to that one, but this is an actual Ooh. beer because it uses grain. It smells like candy. Nice aroma. It does smell very candy-like. It's all the fruit that they use in it. That is delicious. Isn't that delightful? It's tart enough, and then it has enough sweetness to it. Yes. I think it goes well with strawberries because it has strawberries in it. Mm -hmm. But sour beers also pair well with um, earthy notes. So yeah. I did it with some Havarti cheese and strawberry. Those two things together Ooh, make a really nice bite. That's and good. with the beer just kind of complements it and takes it over the top. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Isn't it good together? Mm -hmm. Just put a little bit in there and do mm -hmm. a little swish swish. That's delicious. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's next? Uh, next is a Pilsner. And I think that this is sort of the most versatile style of beer out there. Why? Uh, because it goes with anything. Okay. It'd be perfect for your big game party mm -hmm. because it'll go with pizza, wings, uh, fries, mm -hmm. in this case sliders or burgers, mm -hmm. and we use um, a vegan burger here, um, but it'll go with any kind of burger. It's a really palate cleansing style, mm -hmm. very crisp um, and very dry on the back end, so it's really good to, to drink and eat with yeah. food. Okay. Um, it's a really good compliment. Well, let's try it. We talked about it, let's um, try So it. this is gonna be also reminiscent of one of those big beer brands that our parents used to drink way back in the day, but a better version of it. So right. your friends who may not be into like the fancy beers, this is a good one to have that with is. you. It will satisfy just about anyone at the party. Yes, and yeah. a lot of these beers that you're speaking about today are local to this area. A lot of them are. Uh, the first one is actually from Texas, okay. Austin, Texas. Um, this is Pontoon. Mm -hmm. They're up in Roswell. These guys are in Duluth. Trim Tab is out of Birmingham, Alabama. Okay, so and good. And this is, okay, a mouthful of a beer. Yes. It is a marshmallow, double dry hopped, hazy, IPA. What? Okay? Yes. So, I brought this one because when you think of IPAs or India Pale Ales, mm -hmm. you think of a bitter beer, hoppy, something yeah. that's hoppy, very aggressive on the tongue. But what they've done here is infuse lots of marshmallows. Come the on, dehydrated. Marshmallow? Right. It reminds you of Lucky Charms. Frosted so they Lucky use Charms. exactly. Mm -hmm. They use the uh, dehydrated marshmallows, um, fruit in here, tons of aroma right. from the hops you'll get. Right. It goes well with um, spicy foods. Yes. Um, it'll because ease it'll palate. ease it out. Yes. Absolutely. It'll balance it on out. Before we, we're going to take a break in just a second and get to the last beer. But we got to tell everybody that we're going to be doing something great together. The we Atlanta are. Beer Boutique and Sporty Girls will be at Reformation Brewery. Yes. Coming up on February the 13th. That's a Thursday. Yes, and this is our own beer. Yes, we collaborated with yes. Reformation. Yes. yes. We're so excited about it. It's a peach cobbler sour. Yes. And it's going to be amazing. It's 8%. Yes, 8%. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's going to it's going to do well. Right. And proceed, yeah. a portion of the proceeds will go back to Sporty Girls. So we'd love right. to see you there February the 13th. Yes, As we collaborate. Excited. BFF, yes. right? So we're going to take a break and then we're going to have one from Reformation when we come back. Yeah. Come yeah. through. Let me get some more of this right here. <laughs> we're back on Sister Circle Live with my best friend Jen Woo. of the Atlanta Beer Boutique, which will be open soon in about a month. Yes. 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 I'm excited. All right, so our ladies.
ladies are in here, and we pre-poured what I think my ladies would love, but we right. have to get to the last Let's one. Get to the last okay, one. Okay, what, and what is this? This is Declaration by Reformation. This is an imperial stout. Ooh. So if you think of a stout, you think of it sort of amped up. Mm -hmm. So you get the roasty notes from like a coffee flavor, a deep chocolate, yes. mm -hmm. um, sort of that charred flavor that you yes. get. So that's Super why you dark. have the the brownie mm. with it. Mm. Yes. It goes so well with chocolate. It actually goes Smells. well with like a grilled steak. Mm. It goes well with grilled lamb. Um, but I like to do it as like an after dinner Ooh. kind of beer. I want to so, taste this one. Yes. I think that you would like that one. Okay. Selena, Selena, I think you would like this well, no, Berliner like, Weiss. Like sour, Ooh, bittery sour. Do you like that? Good. And Trina, I think the you're going to like I like IPA. this because I yeah, don't like yeah. beer. Yeah. But this is so good. And I told it's you. Very yeah. so, so it's very like messy. It's, it's made from honey. Oh my I God. It. Isn't it so I good? Love it. Do this you have some is for me, so good. I do have one for you. I knew you'd like it. Thank you. I yes. need this for me. I got much. one for you yeah. as well. Let's yes. cheers. Jenny, get yes. you one, baby. Oh, this one. Happy big game, everybody. Yes. 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 everybody. Seriously. It's been a rough week, but hopefully we can put some smiles on your faces as we get ready for Sunday. I know this beer is going to make us feel good. You feel what I'm talking about right now? Please make sure you follow Jenny. And at AtlantaBeerBoutique.com <laughs> and let everybody know the address of your new location. Yay. Oh, yes, it's 453 Bill Kennedy Way. Yes. So in about yeah. a month, we'll let you know when you can come and get your beer.